Ukraine-born 90 Day Fiancé cast member Natalie Mordovtseva has infuriated fans with her odd behavior on Instagram. TLC viewers got to know Natalie better when Mike Youngquist flew to Kiev on 90 Day Fiancé Season 7, so he could meet Natalie and her elderly mom. The 37-year-old former actress soon moved to America, where, after much turbulence, she finally got married to Mike only to dump him six months later. Fans have often called out Natalie for manipulating Mike and using him for his money and green card. This criticism from fans usually makes its way to Natalie's sake, which is why she's turned her comments off. Back in December 2020, Natalie left Mike's squim trailer, and she's been staying in Florida ever since. Fans last met Natalie on 90 Day, The Single Life, and on that show, she unsuccessfully dated model Johnny, who was overtly touchy-feely. Later. She got to know a California-based CEO named Josh. However, the real shocker of the season was not Natalie meeting a potential fourth husband. It was Mike revealing that he hasn't filed for her green card. Because Mike finally announced that he had made up his mind about getting divorced, fans expected Natalie to be deported to Ukraine by now. However, Natalie is in America as per her Instagram updates, amidst Russia launching a devastating attack on Ukraine, where she used to live with her mom. 90DF's Natalie's fellow Ukrainian co-stars, such as Yarzaya, Lana, and Maria, are continuously asking fans to send thoughts and prayers to their motherland. Meanwhile, Natalie's latest TIG post is her staring seductively into the camera as all the good girls go to hell by Billie Eilish plays in the background. Since Natalie's comments are disabled, fans can't really call her out for being tone deaf during such a grave situation. However, a 90 Day Fiancé blogger at True Crime underscore Jankies post about Natalie having a good time with her Russian friend Varya Molina in Florida. Fans have posted reactions such as, they won't post about the war because they're narcissists and only care for themselves. Another post on Natalie's Instagram from February 21st shows her happily posing for a video at Dampano Hyde Park, an Italian restaurant in Tampa. 90DF's Natalie's caption for the Instagram post is, if you want to live a happy life, tie it to a goal, not to people or things. Albert Einstein and she's used another Billie Eilish song, Bad Guy. Natalie's agenda for posting songs that make her look like a mean girl could mean that she's embracing the personality that fans have come to dislike on 90 Day Fiancé. Natalie is known for being strange on social media. There was a time when Natalie was hugging and kissing trees on the show as she embraced the Woodfairy persona fans had seen on her YouTube channel. The same channel was also used by Natalie to promote her cooking show where she once made sushi while dressed in a traditional Chinese outfit and was blasted for cultural appropriation. Most of Natalie's Instagram posts are incoherent and difficult to decipher, such as this one, in which Natalie from 90DF plays hide-and-seek. 90 Day Fiancé fans believe that Natalie's content strategy is to deliberately share things that get them riled up. She has been caught photoshopping her body to look slimmer and ending up with a deflated-looking arm. Some of Natalie's posts show the use of filters that have made Natalie look almost unrecognizable. In the end, Natalie believes that bad publicity is good publicity, even if she happens to ruffle a few feathers. Sources, Natalie Mordovtseva slash Instagram, at true prime underscore janky slash Instagram.